10 years ago, Christian and Alyssa were sitting next to each other on the living room floor watching the Spiderwick Chronicles. I was six years old and I walk over to the two of them, looked at Christian and sat right down on his lap. <laughs> I remember that I remember that distinctively because then on out I knew we were you were perfect for Alyssa and you would be a great addition to our family. We did talk to each other about anything and everything and through those talks I really knew Christian before I even met him. Christian was the cute funny guy from Driver's Ed but Alyssa made it a point to say well we really met in kindergarten. Christian. It probably wouldn't be a surprise when I say I was skeptical at first but when Alyssa informed me you both were talking again I was just trying to look out for my best friend. Then I met you and quickly realized that you were sweet, funny, and just the perfect fit for Alyssa. I remember when Christian and I were working together, we would work crazy hours. My alarm clock went off at 2 o'clock in the morning. Footsteps. It was Christian. Bro. Did you just get home? Yeah. I was like, dude, we got we have work like now. And he just looked at me and he goes, but she was so pretty. <laughs> now how are you supposed to argue with that? Today I stand here amazed at how fast you've grown and how big your life has become. With all the adventures, good and bad, I can't wait to see the adventures, what lie in store for you and Alyssa. Christian. Take you, Alyssa. Take you, Alyssa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Hi, Alyssa. Take you, Christian. Take you, Christian. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And now, as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I do pronounce you, Mr. and Mrs. Christian Kara, husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Are you married now? Amen. Now we're right. For my love, it seems hard to put into words the extent of my love for you. I have known you for what feels like my whole life. There's no doubt in my mind that our lives have been perfectly laid out according to God's plan. Our stories have been perfectly entwined for so long, only to bring us to this day when they are joined forever. The gift I'm giving you is something I hope you will bring with you to our home and all of the places life will take us. On this day that we start our new life together, I promise to love you and follow you until the end of time. My dearest, here we are, the day we say our vows and join each other, body and soul. Today I will have the privilege of calling you my wife forevermore. It's funny to think of all the moments leading to this one, building up to this one day. And yet today is not an end point, but the beginning. Today we start our story as husband and wife, and we continue a story of love with no vows. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. I pray on this day that we may always grow in love, that we stand together through all things, side by side, as we will do today. May our cups always be full and our love always pushing towards that infinite limit. You are my world, adoring you, your husband.